Hi, Mr. Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Welcome to the Daily Rant. Give us a like, subscribe, or you may be the next person on the Daily Rant. Don't let it happen. So, uh, what we're going to do is talk about today's topic. North Korea backs Donald Trump for U.S. President. Let me read that to you again. North Korea. That's the crazy fucking hermit nation that does whatever the fuck it wants, says what it wants, and threatens whatever it wants. Actually endorses the guy who's running for president that does the same. Uh, <laughs> As Bill Ingvall would say, the great comedian, America, here's your sign. <laughs> so if the, if the craziest, wackiest, fucking backwards, separatist hermit nation that comes up with the most craziest shit they say, backs Donald Trump or any single person really for president of the U.S. Uh, shouldn't that be our sign, America? Shouldn't that be a sign we should be like, uh, what? No. <laughs> That's actually like a warning. <laughs> but no one's getting this, of course. Uh, the funny thing is, is they actually said that there are many positive aspects to Trump's inflammatory policies, this coming from them. Uh, and uh, one of the things they really like about him is he said that he's threatened to pull out troops from the South Korean uh, area there and just let the North and South settle up their BS. So they're all for that. Yeah, get those American troops out of there and let's just have a fucking go at it, I guess. Uh, that's not crazy at all. So, uh, North Korea backing Donald Trump. You know, if I was running for president and uh, North Korea backed me and said, Chris Voss is our man in the White House, I'd kind of be like, uh, maybe I need to check to see what the fuck we're doing. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you have like some great leaders of some great countries that are endorsing you going, we think he's really intelligent and he's a good guy. Uh, but when you're having a country go, hey, uh, that whack job, yeah, the crazy inflammatory motherfucker, yeah, we like him. Put him in your fucking country. We won't have to nuke it because he'll fucking nuke it himself. Uh, yeah, I think that, <laughs> I've just been wondering when that sign was going to come from the North Koreans, having them be just like, they even said, you know, Hillary is boring and uh, we don't like Hillary. Uh, she, I think, guess she makes too much sense and will interfere uh, continuing the uh, policy of the U.S. So I don't know, America, should we ask ourselves if North Korea is endorsing Donald Trump, like, should we really maybe reconsider our decisions <laughs> what we're doing? I kind of like the idea one of my friends had on Facebook. You know what we need to do? We need to treat the U.S. presidency like a breakup. We need to say... U.S. Presidency, we need some time off as the American people. We need a break from crazy U.S. presidents. I'm not saying anything about prior presidents. Let's not get into politics here. <laughs> I, know, I think I am. Um, but we just need to say, hey, you know what? We need, we need some time apart, man. We need some time apart. We need some space. Maybe we just don't need a president for four years, and we can just kind of figure out what the fuck is wrong with this fucking country and why somebody who's as crazy whack jobbed out as Donald Trump is uh, winning the GOP nomination and may win the presidency for that matter. And uh, uh, it'll just get crazy from there, I'm sure. I'm actually really excited to see what happens because I'm going to have endless comedy jokes, I think, for the next presidential term if Trump wins. I'll just quit my job and go do day-to-day stand-up comedy because... They'll just be material every day. I'm fucking sure of it. So, uh, ask yourself, America, is Donald Trump right for you? If North Korea is endorsing him, this is your sign. Seriously. Like all the other ones? Yeah, those are signs too. But this one's kind of big and large, and it's crazy endorsing crazy. It's basically like mm, Sarah Palin saying Trump would be an awesome president. I'm sure that they think Sarah Palin was a great president in North, Korea, in North Korea as well. So there you have it. Anyway, be good to each other. That's my daily rant. Be sure to give us a like, tune in, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.